If you like free performance, then this video is for you. Because today I'm going to be testing game ball on versus game ball off. And you'll see there's a bit of a difference. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro of the video, I'm going to be showing you the results between Game Ball Presence Writer on versus Game Ball Presence Writer off. So in 50% to I'd say probably 75% of the games, when you boot up the game, there's a little service GameBallPresenceWriter.exe that will be running in the background. And you can check this out by running a game and then just opening up the task manager and then you'll see Game Ball Presence Writer running in the background. So I'm going to show you how to switch that off. And guys, doesn't matter if you go into Windows settings, into gaming, and then you switch off the Xbox Game Bar, this is a service that you need to stop or a file that you need to alter to make sure it doesn't run in the background. So how you do that is you download, if you have WinAero Tweaker, great. If you don't have it, I'll provide a link in the description, but you download WinAero Tweaker, and then you scroll down until you find context menu over here. And then in the context menu, you're gonna look for take ownership, and then you're just going to select, uh, put a little uh, check in the take, add take ownership to the context menu. And then you're done with one error tweaker. So then just go to File Explorer, go to C Drive, go to Windows, and then go to System 32. And in System 32, you're going to go to G. And you're going to see, I'll scroll a little bit quicker. So you're going to look for Game Ball Presence Writer. So you can see I've already changed it to Game Ball Presence Writer 1.3. So it might look different for you. The, um, it says Game Ball Presence Writer, but by default, because it's an application, it's that Game Ball Presence Writer.exe. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to change Game Ball Presence Writer.exe. And it, we're just going to make sure that it's got a little number at the end so it can't automatically start in the background because you're changing the exe file name so now that you've selected take ownership in win error tweaker right click this you can see there's a button to take ownership just select that and then just press any key and this is now going to give you ownership of the system 32 protected files and now all you're going to do is you're just going to rename this from Game Bar Presence Writer, and then you can just add in a one, you can add in the three, you can add in the four, whatever the case may be, and then just click all. So now instead of Game Bar Presence Writer.exe, now it's Game Bar Presence Writer134.exe. So it can't automatically start in the background. Now, before I go to my results, and you'll see there is quite a nice little tangible difference. What I will ask you guys is if you are subscribed to the channel, please just make certain that you do have that little notification bell selected. So that when I do drop a new video, you are notified instantaneously. And then for those of you that aren't subscribed just as of yet, if by the end of the video you find this content helpful, A, smash the like button, B, subscribe to the channel, and then actually just select that little notification bell. And to my subscribers, I need your help. Like this video it will help me with the algorithm and then for those of you that aren't subscribed i do have quite cool videos on how to unlock undervolting in laptops uh, i've got throttle stop tutorials msi tutorials you name it under performance optimizations and optimizations on my home page but you want to see what that difference is it's free performance guys so yeah my results system 32 game ball presence writer so by default it's on so I tested it over 10 games. All my games are tested at medium settings with the exception of the newer games, such as Ratchet and Clank is on a mixture of low and lowest. Remnant 2 is on low. Dead Space Remake is on low. And then Argos Legacy on medium. Resident Evil 4 Remake is on a mixture of medium, high and low. But I use the FSR uh, setting on FSR 2 or FSR 2.1. I use the quality setting. Uh, as you can see, I tested single player games. Um, and then I used the NVIDIA driver 537.34. So guys, over, with Game Boy Presence Writer on, so the default setting, when I add up the average FPS over the 10 games, my total amount comes to 657 average FPS. And when I add up the average 1% lows over those 10 games, my 1% lows are 496. And that's with Game Boy Presence Writer on. When I do that process and I, and I disable Game Boy Presence Writer, that's the only thing I'm changing. When I add up all the average FPS over 10 games, you can see 
My average FPS goes up by six or seven over those 10 games. Not a hell of a lot, but that's not where you're getting the most performance. When I add up the 1% lows, you'll see from 496 with game ball presence right to on, it's jumping to 505 1% lows. So by disabling game ball presence right, you're gonna make your games a little bit more stable. It's just gonna feel a little bit smoother and it's free performance. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And then for those of you that are still watching but haven't subscribed as of yet, now is the time to do so. Sunday, enjoy your day. It's people like you. Cheers.